I think everybody's got a chance to meet me. Uh, so Juan Belcher, uh, this is me taking action. I kind of came up with that uh, uh, when I left the car dealership. So, um, so we got pregnant senior year in college at A&T. So um, went, and sell, went and sold cars. So grateful to be a part of the leadership that was there because literally they took all of my energy and aggression and they helped me turn it towards learning how to communicate. And uh, you guys all know that, you know, communication is the way to sell and, you know, the way to sell is the way out to financial freedom. So anyway, um, so I, I, I quit my, I was wholesaling on the side and I was buying houses and this one guy came in, his, uh, his name was Adam Spear. I was selling on my house and uh, I'm still at the dealership at the time. Shout out to Adam. Um, Woo! Let's shout out to Adam. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, uh, he dropped off his earnest money deposit uh, at the dealership. That's, that was like my meeting spot because at the dealership, you don't work nine to five. You work, you know, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. because you, you know, you got to sell. So I'd have the, the buyers come into the dealership and bring me earnest money, you know, right there at the dealership. And uh, he's like, yo, bro, like, what are you here getting your car serviced? And I, <laughs> I was like, no, nah, bro, this is where I work. He said, bro, you. You know, you're making like $8,000 on this deal, man. I was like, I was bro, well, this is, this is what I do. I sell cars, I flip houses on the side. He's like, well, man, if you're uncomfortable, you know, I can hold your hand right now. We can walk out of here, you know? <laughs> and um, I didn't quit that day, but you know, literally that stuck with me for like the next two weeks. You know, I changed my Instagram name from Crown Honda Sales Guy to This Is Me Taking Action. So, nice. so yeah, so that's, uh, that's how nice. your boy became This Is Me Taking Action. And so, um, a little about me. So I have six kids. Okay, I uh, don't have my oh ring my with me, gosh. but so I have six kids, five girls, one boy. My wife has been at home for the last nine and a half years. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for my family because honestly, I probably wouldn't have the goals that I have now if we didn't have such a large team. You know, um, you know, we closed on like 22 acres, a nice little house out there um, in Greensboro, and you know, um, yeah, God is God is great. But uh, but that's the that's the family. Been investing for uh, full time for uh, for for seven years. Yeah. Wow. Um, currently we hold uh, 60 doors, uh, like you know rental properties wise. We have more of course because we do some fix and flip too. Um, and um, I run a small team. So um, uh, I ran a I ran a bigger team, but you know um, it, it just that's just kind of how deal progression goes. Um, we've done a, we've done, we've done a lot of deals, hundreds of deals. Um, um, wholesale, we do a bunch of JV deals. We do some transactional funding. I love transactional funding, so holler at me for your double closes. Um, uh, we do some fix and flips, and subject two is kind of like my claim to fame that got me like my quickest growth, and and um, and my private money guys love it. We'll talk about the private money guys and and my system to doing that. Um, uh, so my team, uh, Sam was supposed to put everybody's picture right there. Um, uh, shout out, shout out. Uh, I love my team. I really do. You know, cause you just can't do everything yourself. And so, um, I'm last minute with everything. So on the way up here, we end up driving. Um, you know, I text Sam, I was like, yo, put together this slide for me, you know? And so she put this together for us. But, uh, we got one cold caller. She's in the VA. Uh, she's in the Philippines. Uh, one data manager, Sarah. Uh, Sam is actually her daughter. She's my uh, she's my assistant. I have one acquisition in the office. I have another acquisition that's starting uh, on Friday, um, and then I have a, a TA. Um, we used to do property management in house. Uh, excuse, uh, we used to do it in house, and then I got the 30 doors. It was a little too much. We um, um, we gave it to one of our our good cash buyers, um, SM1. Uh, but now I'm really thinking about taking it back. While I was going through that, like boom of just spending as much money on on uh, on marketing as possible you know we went from three thousand i was like forget it twenty thousand twenty five thousand dollars in in marketing matter of fact carlos reyes he gave me this idea uh because at his uh at his event at the beginning of it he said everybody raise your hand you know if you spent fifty thousand dollars a month on marketing and there was two guys that raised money on, uh, that that said that they spent fifty thousand dollars a month on marketing he said you guys come to the stage he says, how much did you guys make last, uh, last month? You know, 250,000, 300,000. I was like, dang, crazy. He said, guys, if y'all want to do 250,000, you need to spend $50,000 on marketing. So that's when uh, I did this whole, you know, let's just spend as much money on, on marketing as possible. But 
it works and it doesn't work, okay? But what made it get really good is when I started doing RVMs to extremely niche list. So Trump came out with the Opportunity Zones and I thought it was the perfect thing ever. I like, it's like, this is it, you know? You know, a law that helps, you know, that helps investors, you know, with taxes. And, um, and essentially it was buying in the hood because that's where all of my houses that I was buying was in the hood. And so I was like, well, how do I get this Opportunity Zone list? You know, you couldn't just buy it. They had like a map and, and all those good things. And so Deal Machine had the map. And I was like, okay, cool. Well, Deal Machine got a map. You know, the county got the Opportunity Zone map. I'll just hire a virtual assistant to only put every house in Opportunity Zone map in my Deal Machine. I, I broke Deal Machine that week. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> literally, we just added too many houses. You know, um, we made it stronger since. Yeah, you did. And you did a good job with that. And so we created this Opportunity Zone list. And I was like, okay, how are we going to market to them? And um, I had this homegirl from, uh, from the car dealership. And I was like, Rachel, I need you to do me a favor. I'll pay you 100 bucks to create this RVM. And I need you to do three of them. And I wanted her to sound like we were a government program. OK, and this is kind of what it sounded like. Government has deemed a property that you own in a low income area. And for that fact, they're incentivizing um, um, investors to buy houses in your area. If you'd like to talk to these investors, press one. If you'd like to remove from list, press zero. And um, number one, you know, females get way better responses than males. It got the, the best responses, and everybody will call back and ask him for Rachel. <laughs> Rachel, <laughs> she didn't work for us. She just did the RVM for us. <laughs> and so, boom, that, that, got me, that got me like, you know, that got us good. I, I used uh, Slob Broadcast. Uh, I use, I use Slob Broadcast. Still do RVMs? Still do RVMs. I do 10,000 a week. Most of our deals are sold sight unseen, you know. Um, and then the best question uh, in that opt-in was, would you consider lending? Would you consider lending on deals? Yes or no? OK. Um, uh, and then, of course, we built our JV funnel on that as well. OK, because once again, we had our opportunities. We had our outperform the competition list. We pushed we pushed them to JV our deals with them. We had the biggest and best, um, you know, um, um, I guess you can say selling system. Um, so we could just JV with them versus being their competition. Cool. So now since we have Triad Discount Homes, everybody's selecting, yes, they'll lend you private money. Why, why would we do that? If the same cash buyer says, yes, we'd consider lending, you know, we got a thousand people that says, yes, they'll consider lending. We're putting them on this website. Why would we sell it to them now? They already said, yes, we'll consider lending. So before I would put them up, I just call them like, yo, bro, I got this deal on a contract. Uh, we're about to put it up on the website tomorrow. You said you consider lending. Here's the terms that I need. You know, six months, no payments. We're going to do fix and flip. 30 year, 10%, we're gonna hold it as a rental property. You know, we do the deal together. You take a first position, we do the operations, you get cash for like you want, we get a rental property. And, um, and of course, like I said, we was doing subject two, so $25,000, $30,000, we, we on the up and up. So we added a little, I added my little sales skills to it and that really, that really changed the game for us. So I'd send out my, I'd send out my terms that I would want uh, from my private money guys and always, always on the same day, whether I raise the money or not, yo, somebody else picked up the deal. You know, so I created this little scarcity as though, you know, respond to me now. You know what I mean? Because guys with money, they think that, oh, I got the money. I'll just respond what I want. No. You know what I mean? Like, this is a business. We have to close quickly. We're trying to, we're trying to raise money so we can get the deal done. So, um, so that's, a little bit about, that's a little bit about me. Those are the things that really turned me up. And um, right, now what we're, right now what we're doing, I'm really focused on getting to 100, 100 doors right now, but my ultimate goal is 250. Um, um, and then also, I love doing more deals, you know, but really when we're in that period of growing and having a big team, you know, uh, the overhead can really, you know, scaling can take you out, you know. And so um, since COVID, I've been sharing I've been sharing what I do on social media and that has allowed me to, you know, have people pay me to teach them. And then the way I guarantee my students a deal is if they will market in my area, I'll be their number one buyer. You know what I mean? So you're you're 100 percent going to always do your first deal with me in the first 90 days because I'm going to teach you how to market in my area. It creates competition for sure. I'm going to teach you how to market in my area. I'm going to show you what to offer and then I'm also going to buy it from you. Biggest problem with business. Wait. 
what keeps me awake at night is I'm not going hard enough. Like, um, um, and, and really it's down to the team. Like I, like I said, when COVID happened and, and, uh, and I lost my best guys, really, um, um, you know, um, instead of doing 100 deals, we started doing 50. And, um, and to be honest, I really like doing 100 deals. <laughs> Just to be honest, I, I, like the, I like the multiple hat tricks a week, you know, like get three deals in a day, like multiple times a week. That's cool, bro. So the juice for the like, no. Like you just like the deal flow, you like seeing it happen. Yeah, I'm a sales guy. You know what I mean? Uh, like the like uh, we make money. That's that's cool. But like keeping the team hype and um, and uh, you know having so many deals. That's the way I got the cat. That's the way I got my private money guys now. You know, um, you know, Kendall. Um, you know, we own probably ten houses together. I probably have like uh, 2.5 million of his right now. He's got. You know what I mean? They're down to do. 30 year notes with me, you know? And so realistically having deals, having a lot of deals dominating the market is what, me, what got me, you know, to where I am. So what keeps me up at night is I need to get back. I don't necessarily need to, but I feel like I should be. I would be doing myself a disservice if I don't get back to doing volume. If you guys just enjoyed that free training of the four things that I did to triple my average deal size income with Deal Machine, go ahead and click the affiliate link below so that way you guys can start marketing to motivated sellers and generate um, uh, motivated seller leads that can help you take your life to the next level. And remember, you don't need all three to do a deal, just two to do you. Peace.